Hello guys, Adam from AC Auto Tech. Uh, Going to talk about Transit 2011 hot start and faults. A couple of people have looked at it, not really gone anywhere with it. Uh, it looks like it's had a few bits and bobs replaced. Uh, show you the video. So you can see there's some nice shiny silicon. Like the clean look, clean look of engine. So does that point to something? Who knows? Bit more customer question than maybe. Um, yeah, so as you can see, a few bits and bobs replaced anyway. So looking at the data, we can see, you know, possibly a fuel issue going on. Basically, driver, you can see there, coolant temp is very, very low. This 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 one's been nearly two and a half hours to play up around the block it's still you know the cooling temps not very good I'm just gonna see if we can catch it playing up on camera again now okay you can see here yeah, we've got there no nope. not starting when hot there's no fuel pressure what I did find was um when I um, wiggle a widen loom by the ECU that happened by luck, really totally honest. Moved the wire loom to try and um, access that. I was going to run some tests um, for the suction draw valve, easier from the ECU, rear wheel drive van. Let's eventually cut them from there. Anyway, wiggle that as I'm moving it, boom, bang, cut out. Anyway, I'm already heading in there, so stripped it down to full of green. Here's the pictures. So what I've had to do is uh, go on a wiring diagram, show you the picture coming up with the pin, purple, uh, green purple wire. Anyway, that's for the engine control relay, the ground side of the relay, great, it's not the end of the world that that pin's missing at the moment. So I've grounded that pin using the test light, here's the picture. Um, so that's where we're up to engine still runs and all that type of stuff it needs an ECU regardless now customer is aware of this but we need to continue testing with the hot start folks so I'm going to show you the hot start running now if you can make that out there saying it's up to temperature there scan tool showing you know we drive it around and it, it's not going above 80 degrees but anyway here's the key off Ignition on. That's what it's doing. Sometimes it's worse, sometimes it's sometimes it's straight up. So see where we get to from now. So set up here. I'll, I'll quickly walk you through what we've done. So WPS, clear pipe coming from the fuel filter down to the fuel pump. This is the uh, green wire, um, that's going straight to earth. This is the way we've seen before the corroded pin for the engine control relay. That's just so we can continue running the test. Duty cycle for the suction valve, current the orange wire. And here's our um, wire and diagram there. Right, the green is the rail, uh, rail pressure. Uh, yeah, you can see I've got a mass channel set up, the WPS set up. Um, obviously, it's the Sabin, it's not wanting to play up at the moment. Well, that's where we're up to. Just having a go at just scaling that a little bit on the um, WPS, just to see if we can see anything a bit better. And just run that again. See the drop out in the WPS. 
Aquí está Valencia, me dice que lo gustó mi hoy. So my interpretation of the gas is is a little drop in the current. We can see the current drop just slightly there, which is driving our uh, rail pressure up. As the rail pressure goes up, we're asking for more fuel, which is giving us a big drop on the um, low pressure fuel side. So this is the drop here as, it's su as the fuel pump sucks in, trying to suck in more fuel. Pressure drives up evens out and then it goes on and that's what's happening I think. so let me just zoom out for you there so you can see it repeatedly the computer may have failed on us bloody technology eh guys finally to the south to catch up so we can see it's repeated small drop out big piece drop and piece drop and piece so my suspicion is suction control valve failed is that causing all our hot start problem I'm not sure let's see if we can catch it See here where the drop drop I threw it in and the key off to try again. Rail pressure's going up. Like a spike in the pressure. Okay. So my call is suction control valve. 